In this video, I will be sharing my data engineering journey from VCA to data engineering, what challenges I faced and what technology you should focus So I will share in this video. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and before starting, please like this video. Once I completed my 12th, after that I took the admission in VCA. That time I had no idea about what is VCA. My family members and few relatives suggested me to took that admission, so I took the admission in VCA. Uh, what is IT, what is C, C++, Java, what is web development, what is data engineering, all the new terms I was listening in VCA. That time I had no idea what is that. So slowly slowly I came to know all these things in VCA. Predefined curriculum started for VCA. That time I heard about C. It is a programming language. All things I came to know that time I had no idea before. So I came to know about C. I was not good in programming. Anyhow, I secured a 60 to 70 percent marks in programming. It was very difficult to understand programming for me that time, and also I had no interest in SQL that time. And SQL is one of the most important thing for the data engineering purpose. That time I had no interest in SQL. That time I didn't understand what is SQL and why we are learning SQL. Just I need to pass the exam so I was learning. So anyhow I secured the C grade 45 marks out of 100. So just I passed that exam because I had no interest in SQL. After all this thing we reached to the final year or third year. So company started visiting in our campus. I cleared the aptitude round for TCS, Capgemini and SAP lab. But I was out in the interview because of lack of technical skill and the communication skill. With that VCA got uh, over. Anyhow I secured the degree of first division. I started looking for best MCA college so I took the admission in BIT University Chennai campus for MCA. From day one I had a clear thought Whatever I don't know, I will work on that area. First one is a communication skill and second one is a technical skill. There is one main reason to choose BIT for MCA because the campus is in South and uh, I am from North. So I choose BIT because from day one I need to speak English to whom I will interact, I will interact in English. So my communication will automatically uh, it will automatically increase so I choose BIT for that reason and it worked for me from day one I started speaking in, in English uh, in starting it was not good but anyhow I was speaking so it got improved slowly slowly and now I have no issue in the communication still I am working on my communication now I know my technical skills is not too good especially SQL so from day one I started learning SQL whatever was going in the class whatever homework I was getting whatever assignment I was getting I was trying to complete all these things on the same day because I don't want to keep all these things pending because once it is going in pending then it is uh, becoming more than we are not getting any interest so whatever is going on I was trying to complete on the same day and also I meet the, the faculty member personally and I and I told about my problem but problem I had in technical skill they suggested me whatever is going in the class follow that one and so now I learned SQL and now I score more than 90% mark in SQL and also I focused on other technical skills and all got improved so now with all things we reached to the final year now our placement started so in starting I got one internship of a letter that is for web development and now I started trying for the full time. I tried for so many company I got rejected in starting itself but I keep trying 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 so I got the offer letter from the TCS. After that I was super happy that time. In my last semester of MCA I went for the internship. Then first time I worked on real time environment. I saw first time all these things how it is working in real time. So in my internship time I worked as a web developer. So I worked in uh, PHP, HTML, Bootstrap and uh, SQL. Here I got good exposure of PHP and the SQL real time exposure I got here. With that my MCA and internship got completed. The duration of internship was 5 months. 
After 15 days of time, I joined TCS as a fresher, and in starting, I got training in all the technology: HTML, CSS, Java, SQL. Now, I luckily got the data and analytics domain. In that domain, I got a development project. Here, I need to work as a Informatica ETL developer. So, I got a chance to learn Informatica, BDM. SQL, Python, AWS, and for job scheduling, TWS, and also I learned a big data technology in this project. Also, I became a AWS certified from Amazon and Python certified from Microsoft. So I completed here two certificates: one is AWS and another one is Python from Microsoft. After all this learning, I started looking for a better opportunity. I got first offer from IBM as a data engineer. How much high percentage I got from IBM? What preparation strategies I followed for data engineering role? And before IBM, I got rejected in so many companies. You want to know all the answers? Then one complete video available on my YouTube channel. I will put that video in the end screen, or I will put the link in description, so you can watch that video after this video. So now I joined IBM recently and working as a data engineer, and I am working on a latest technology. This is my journey so far. I will be uploading video like this. So if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any query and you want to ask any question, you can ask me in comment section. I will love to reply. Thank you.